you keep saying you're the prize but you don't let me chase you you did chasing are you really the prize are you what were you dating someone for seven years for i feel like that's a long ass time do not chase a man men are hunters men do the chasing let people be it's frustrating have you seen men chase women you don't teach men to come bearing gifts Yours, mine, ours. I could do this for hours hey besties welcome back to my channel if you're just seeing this beautiful face for the first time welcome in and welcome to the gang please don't make it your last don't forget to like comment subscribe don't forget to do that and turn on post notifications to be notified whenever i upload a new video so besties we are back again with a new video today's video we are going to be talking five dating mistakes not to make in your 20s this is basically my thoughts my opinions my experiences so and some of the things i say may not sit well with you and that's fine don't worry that's fine you can scroll past you know it may not be for you uh, but if this is what you're interested in keep watching okay and let's get right into today's video first days you may see me looking down that's because i have a phone here where i've written down a couple of things i want us to talk about so the first thing i want us to talk about is thinking our relationships will end in marriage i mean that's a facade I, some people date with marriage as the end goal um that is good in a way but that is also not good in a way i mean this is 2023 it's not everybody you date it's not everybody you're in a relationship with that you would marry so some people when they date in their head our relationships would end in marriage they sit back in probably a toxic relationship in a relationship that is not good for them a partner they are not compatible with they do all that because they believe oh i want to marry this person they believe that they won't be able to marry someone else so you guys may start dating a few oh i'm going to marry this person i'm going to marry that person but then along the line you realize we are not really compatible we're not really good for each other except when okay you guys are probably old enough to marry it has to be a mutual understanding that the both of you are hoping that this relationship is going to lead to marriage the both of you are working towards making each of you your life's partner you would not even be able to live a toxic situation and a healthy relationship a person who is not compatible because you believe um what will people say if i don't marry this person some relationships are lessons some relationships are torture some relationships are blessings so pick whatever you can from this relationship there's a certain person you'll be seeing you feel like this person is not the kind of person you want as a father of your children or as a mother of your kids but you're doing it because no, we have been together for so long i cannot just live six years of my life i cannot just live seven years of my life but what were you dating someone for seven years for i feel like that's a long ass time you cannot give one person seven years of your life be open to meeting new people okay do not date with the end notion that our relationship and the marriage okay stop trying to change a person stop trying to change a man stop trying to change a woman i mean when you're in a relationship you're with an adult you're with a grown man you're with a grown woman you're... but i feel like at a certain age you cannot tell an adult what to do and what not to do okay let me say you started dating this guy he smokes when you met him and you have always known that he smokes you guys got into a relationship in the course of that relationship you start complaining that he smokes oh you want him to stop smoking that is very funny because you met him when you met him you knew he smoked you started dating him you knew he was smoking then into the relationship you're telling him to change that he should stop smoking why why are you telling him to stop smoking you met him smoking and now you want him to stop smoking you cannot change a person you cannot tell an adult how to act even if you like believe oh if i start cooking for him if i'm nicer to him if i if i learn new styles in bed if i do this for him if i do that for him he will change since he's not going to change you cannot make a person change let's say your spec according to you guys your type is a is a slim girl okay you then meet this girl she's uh, you know she's on the sticker side she's a plus size and then when you meet her you start um you know, start telling her to lose weight you can only say she wants to lose weight because she wants to not because you're trying to change her into the kind of woman you want her to be you're trying to mold her into a woman you want her to be it's not possible bro if you like slim girls date slim girls stop trying to make thick girls lose weight if, if this is not what you like follow what you like stop looking for what you like and what you don't like bro stop it follow your type slim girls you like to get date slim girls thick girls plus size date them skimpy clothes date them stop trying to make another person be what you want her to be let people be it's frustrating the third thing we're going to, we're going to be talking is do not 
chase a man. Do not chase a man. Men are hunters. Men do the chasing. And since you're supposed to be chased, you're supposed to, you know, enjoy the chase. You're a lady. You're a pretty girl. Don't chase a man. As a girl, if I see a girl chasing a man, it turns me off. What do I mean by that chasing man? Let's say, for instance. A man has already told you in all ramifications, in every way possible that, you know, beyond reasonable doubt, that he doesn't fancy you, that he doesn't like you, that you're not his type, you're not his ideal woman, you're not his ideal girl, you're not his ideal lady, you're not what he wants, but you decide to close your eyes. You refuse to see that. You be seeing the signs that this man has little to no interest in you. You refuse to see that. If I learn how to, you know, satisfy him in bed, if I learn how to be a freak in the bedroom, if I, you know, spice up our sex life, he's going to want me more. If I send him nudes, he's going to think, oh, you know, that if I if I hang my leg in the air, if he, if he puts me in 70 positions for 70 minutes, if he does all of that, he's going to like you. Sis, no matter what you do, if a man doesn't like you, a man doesn't like you. You know why I like men? They don't compromise. A man, once a man says, okay, this is the girl I like, this man is going to chase you. Don't teach men to chase. Men chase for a living. Men are hunters. Men love chasing. Instead of a man chasing you, you start chasing him. This man is going to sit back and relax. And he's going to sit down there like he's not going to do anything because at this point, you're the person doing the chasing. As I come and complain, he doesn't do this for me, doesn't do that. Once a man gives you the first time that he doesn't want you, maybe you did not see the first time. Maybe you weren't sure if he was it. The second time, pack your bags and leave. Because I don't know what further embarrassment you need, what further heartbreak you need, what other thing you want him to do for you to realize, oh, this man is not feeling me. When a man likes you, you would know. There is no, you will not be second guessing it. Once you start second guessing, if a man likes you, that's all the answer you need. Like, you don't, you don't, you don't need any other thing. That's everything. If a man likes you, you would never be in doubt if that man likes you. Have you seen men chase women? You don't teach men to come bearing gifts. You keep saying you're the prize, but you don't let men chase you. You do chasing. Are you really the prize? Are you? I think people confuse this feminism with um you know being a strong woman and all of that feminism is simply preaching equality you, women should be given the same opportunities as men are given and all of that but feminism doesn't mean that you shouldn't let a man chase you don't leave your your, your role in that situation by being the chasee and start doing the chaser job do you get so if you claim you're the prize give leave your options open let every person prove his worth <laughs> Chasing men also comes with this pick me attitude. It aches me when I see women, especially in, on Instagram, in comment section, you know, giving up this pick me attitude, trying to play the good girl card so that this man will find you wife material age. So this man will find you da 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 da. All of that, sis. If somebody doesn't want you, the person doesn't want you. If you like, be wife material, roll million yards and all of that. If he's not into you, he's not into you. Don't stress it. Besides, not everybody will like you, but everybody does like me. <laughs> Not everybody would like you, but it's me. You see me, I hate embarrassment, especially public disgrace. Once I get the hint that this person is moving like this, if you start moving like this with me, me I, I'm a very chill babe, but I don't like stress. I don't like stress. Anything that has to do with stress, I don't like it at all. So if I see you're moving like this, I'll just pack my back, sit back and relax. Like, I'm a, I'm a pull back. You won't even know I've pulled. I'm a pull back like this. And then you'll be wondering what is it this girl is thinking. And once I pull back like this, I forget you. Like, I literally forget people in seconds. I'm like, I'll just forget. Once I stop talking to you today, tomorrow I've forgotten you exist. Like, I feel like you even got to keep me interested. The minute you sleep on me, you fall back to the last person on the line. The next person moves up. The key keeps going. Eyes on the prices. Let them compete for you. Do not do the competing, okay? The first thing we're going to be talking is fall in love. But don't be stupid. Love isn't stupid. See, this is personal. Should I tell you guys something? I hate when people excuse their stupidity, their actions, their lousiness, and say, oh, it's because ah, she's in love. It's because, yeah, you don't understand. You've never been in love. And none like, excuse you. Love ain't stupid. It's okay to fall in love. Me, I believe in love, oh. I love love. I love to see people in love. I want to fall in love too. I want to marry the love of my life. You know, all of that shenanigans. But, fall in love but don't be stupid. Like, 
I hate when I see stupid things. Okay, let's say for instance, you go to see your babe, your boyfriend, your baby, your boo, your whatever, your man. You go to see him. He treats you a certain way that is not honestly you know you don't want to be treated like this i mean i feel like the people who do this have daddy issues you know you probably have daddy issues you probably have men issues you probably have, you know something is wrong with your head you probably have home issues because i feel like if you're loved well at home you should know how you want to, to be treated i'm not trying to you know make you feel bad for the things you've done but i feel like there are some behaviors you shouldn't condone don't tell me oh it's because i was in love love is not stupid uh you literally be with your friend you know you all finish planning to go out and then she's like mm, i have to call my boyfriend to seek permission from him <laughs> you guys think that thing is cute but it actually disgusts me honestly i can't even lie i, I, I want to call my boyfriend so that i'll take permission from him you guys are very funny you and stupid sometimes sorry to say because if let's turn the tables if you are a woman in your 20 you're 23 24 25 and your daddy tells you you're not supposed to leave the house without asking for permission from him you don't be like that you're a grown woman you start complaining on the social media how parents are toxic and all of that but you'll be asking a boy that your father is twice older than permission to go out to leave your house a boyfriend how make it make sense don't don't think that that thing you are doing is not love see let me not tell you it's not even love because how is it that you want to go out you're taking permission from your boyfriend that you want to go i'd not say you're telling him you want to go you're keeping him updated about what's going on with you you're taking permission from him that you want to go out how make it make sense it doesn't make sense like you're going to chill with your girls and you're like oh, i want to call my boyfriend so that oh you know so that he won't be angry <laughs> see there are some things we, we ladies be doing sometimes yeah if i hear if i see i just be looking at her like is this supposed to be kids is this supposed to be goals like sis come off it come off it let's not even go there a man can hit his girl hit her slap her and then she said no it's because i made him angry it's because he was not in a good mood and i you know triggered his anger and i'm looking at the girl like you didn't just say this you didn't say it you go and apologize for him hitting you and you come on here to be telling me what you're telling me since that is not love that is stupid that is madness you probably either have daddy issues you weren't loved that home you have insecurities you something must be wrong with you for you to think like that and think that's love love is not painful love is not punishment love is not soft ahead let me tell you what love is love is soft love is sweet love is beautiful love is tough love is going through the ups and downs but the ups and downs doesn't mean someone hitting you someone treating you less than human love should make you comfortable love should make you happy you should be around someone you like cares about you because i don't see how someone will care about you and hit you i don't see how someone will care about you and abuse you do you get so do not be that person don't say it's love sis it's not love it's stupidity sorry to be the person to break this news to you but it is not love okay fifth thing on our list is do not start what you can't finish do not do things you are uncomfortable with this is a message to me men <sighs> you guys see let's give an instance you meet me first the acting out stage in the talking stage and you get into know each other state in the going on date stage and we get to know each other you call me every day you know we text often you're always so caring so loving so sweet so so what i want here has he been my whole life kind of man he starts giving you that energy and then okay i say okay cool we get into the relationship he starts sleeping how see i fell in love or i liked what the personality you showed me in that talking stage that is what i know that is the you i know do you get so if you know you're not going to be the kind of person that you know the early stages you're giving me you're selling to me don't start it it's like you're a different person when i met you then in the relationship you're different let's say for instance you're, you know, you're always coming to my house you're always texting me you always you know wanted to see me and it's small thing you could just turn up in front of my gate those mushy mushy things you've been doing that personality that thing you showed me that persona you sold to me is what i fell in love with is the person i liked do you get that is like the image of you i have in my head that is the person i know but then getting to the relationship you become a whole different person like it's no more that's you're still sweet but like you're not doing the things you used to do so if you know that you cannot keep up with something do not start it because 
that is what girls fall in love with that's why when they start dating people they start saying oh after i after we started dating he changed but you actually did change the person i fell in love with is the person i said i said yes to is the persona that i met in this talking stage but then all of a sudden you get into the relationship you're no more giving the same vibes you're no more giving the same energy see yeah me i'm the kind of person that when i see that the person is now different from what i knew i'm like i'm gonna take a chill back and just be watching this person see i'm not the kind of person that will ask you why did you stop doing this for me mm -mm. see i don't believe in too much talk i let my actions do the talk i don't talk if you know me i don't talk too much like especially when it has to do with men i don't talk too much if you do something that this is not it for me i'll just spark my i'll just dip i'll just i'll just chill, pull back and i'll just lock up do you get so i'm not going to come and be telling why did you stop doing it see we are grown you know what you did you know you stopped you know that is not the energy you're giving me so that is what i know that is the person i know but when the person i know is not the person i know i did i moved back because that was it begins to feel like it was all a lie and then i'm the kind of person that i, I lose interest in people fast so you gotta keep me interested you get so when i get into whatever it is we are getting into keep me interested if you change if you become a different person i'm a i'll just do like this and be watching you and then the next person that picks my interest i'll go i literally be living and you don't even know i've left i don't even have strength for that because that is that's a stress so it's stress and it's not me okay so that's this that's it for today's video if you learned a thing or two or uh, if you're making these mistakes in your in your dating life in your love life your relationship life um let me know in the comments if you feel like there are some things that you don't agree with let me know in the comments okay i feel like it's a safe space we're besties so any and everything is allowed leave your comments you know i want to know what you guys think i want to know is it just me like are these things happening to you guys too i feel like you know we gotta talk these things because i mean we're besties so any and everything is allowed okay so besties that brings us to the end of today's video if you haven't enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up don't forget to do that comment subscribe and turn on post notifications to be notified whenever i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in my next video same time next week bye